Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. Getting back to the Isaiah 4 and 1 series. Getting back to the Isaiah 4 and 1 series. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, In that day, speaking of a future time, seven women take hold of one man saying, We will eat our own food, wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your name, take away our disgrace. It's so many things that fall into that disgrace category. The disgrace is how these women be acting masculine. It's going to lead guys to not even want to be in relationship with them. It's already happening. Already happening. Like, guys is waking up. You ain't going to be able to be any old type of geezer, troublemaker, and still, like, back in the day, you could still have a man. It's going to be, like, I be seeing, like, like, some very attractive women. No ring on their finger. No relationship. Live by themselves. It's reasons. It's reason because guys is waking up. They seeing that marriage is a bad deal with most women. But that brings us to our subject matter. What do I look for and what should you look for? Let's talk about some of my preferences. Some of my preferences. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anybody that can be brown skinned, I like brown skinned women. Especially the beady eyed brown skinned women. Like, you know. It's different, different things that I like. Different. Everybody got their own fetishes, their own characteristics. Me, I got mine too. Now I'm gonna talk about some of them. I don't like women to go crazy with that razor all over their body. I could see under the arms, legs, arms, stuff like that, but listen. That sacred area should be a little wild, man. It should be like a forest. I ain't gonna talk too much about it. Cause you know I get a I got a lot of Christians, but hey look, like I tell y'all, if you can't handle the truth and transparency, you on the wrong channel. Skin color doesn't matter as much, but I do have a preference for the, the high yellow light bright color. I don't, that's not all I look at, but I do have a preference towards, you know? In terms of hair, it doesn't matter. I don't care about wigs, but I think certain wigs should be kept for a little private fun time you know I, I my my opinion is that in public you should decide if you wear wigs it should just be a nice professional wig either curly or straight it doesn't matter as long as it looks neat and you got it all the way on your head correctly I'm not one of those guys that got a problem with the wigs and the eyelashes being honest about it I'm, you know what I got a problem with not all the way but I told you I got a problem with that razor like I like grown women type stuff man. you know but in terms of qualities the main thing I look for is faithfulness like I, I want you uh, basically to stick to me if you don't want to stick to me then don't deal with me at all like if I if I'm dealing with a woman what's the purpose of these other guys okay how about this how about you go get those other guys that you want and I'll just step on out the way and deal with women that's gonna deal with only me how about that that's a fair deal fair deal so, faithfulness is number one. 
That's number one. Cleanliness, you can't have no STD. I ain't sharing no STD. You got an STD, go on over there with somebody else. So, you got to be healthy. Healthy. I don't, I don't want to, you know, you got to be healthy. I'll help you get there, you know, if I could. Person got to be healthy, you know. That's up there. That's important, man. You've been on, had feelings for somebody, and got used to somebody, and they've been on, died on you or some stuff, man. You know, so if you really like a person and they not healthy, then you try to get them, try to help them get healthy. But that's that's up there, man. That's very important. The next thing is I want you to be a little headstrong. And y'all should want women that's just a little headstrong, not to the point where they're going to be a problem uncooperative for you, but to the point where they could be like, Hey, let's not do that. And they know what they're talking about, not just them thinking they know more than you, but them actually knowing some things that add to you. But yeah, you can't go, man. You gotta wait for the bus. Then all that traffic coming from there. So, gotta be a little headstrong, man. I gotta know if I ain't around, there ain't no dude talking you out of your drawers. Loyalty, healthy, headstrong. The next thing I would put up there, you, hey, listen, you gotta have some abilities that make me feel good. You gotta know how to do some things. You gotta be freaky. You gotta be, you gotta know something. Like, you gotta know how to do something. Like, Balance my books out. Okay. You going I'm gonna do better financially because you're around. Like your suggestions gonna benefit me. You know. I will want like one of my preferences is you can throw down in that kitchen. I be eating, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna never be the diet crazy dude. I'm always being cakes, burgers, all this stuff, man. I don't care about no abs. Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm working on that, but I, I'm not obsessed with that, man. I don't really care about having abs and stuff, you know what I mean? So, all of these qualities, if you're looking for something to look for, just match the things that I say, and you will find the catch. Next thing, you can't have no drug addictions. You know, we could drink, we could have a little cocktail, stuff like that, but you can't smoke weed. Don't, don't deal with women who do drugs. You know, nothing against y'all, but hey, we, we don't need drugs, man. We, we can have our fun just naturally and with drinks. There's a drink gonna come right out. Like it's just, you, on, you take a, a wizard, it's gonna come right out. You know, you might, some people might get the stomach, the headache, them drinks gonna come right out, man. You know, we ain't dealing with no, I deal with, if you one of them, you know, you wanna, one of them women, you might smoke a cigar. Don't do it all the time, but if you do it on certain occasions, I could work with you, cause especially depending on the things you've done before I was around, that's not like something harmful. As long as you don't do it too much. Uh, you know, no male friends. No way. I don't trust that. If you need male friends, why don't you marry them? Why don't you uh, become their concubine? So I ain't dealing with that male friend stuff, man. I'm not trying to hear it. And Watch out for them relatives, because some people will be banging their cousin, man. So watch out for them, them relatives try to be too close. Well, we'll finish this maybe tomorrow, because I got more, so stay tuned.